Hello and welcome to Bulldog TV News, an affiliate of the USA News Network. I'm Michelle. And I'm Miko. And here's what we have for you today. President-elect Donald Trump said Sunday that he made a couple of deals after spending the week with a long list of potential administration appointees. But he did not reveal any more picks. Trump and the Vice President-elect Mike Pence did not drop did drop some hints. Pence said that Mitt Romney was under active and serious consideration to become the nation's next Secretary of State. Trump said retired Marine Corps General James Mattis was an impressive prospect for defensive secretary. On Monday, the president-elect will meet with former Texas Governor Rick Perry, who may have a spot in the cabinet as head of the Agriculture or Veterans Affairs Department or the Pentagon. Perry is one of several high-profile visitors who have met with Trump over the past week, which includes former Na New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani and New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. Also on Monday, Trump is expected to announce his economic landing teams. President Barack Obama said Sunday he doesn't intend to become the successor's constant critics, but reserves the rights to speak out if President-elect Donald Trump or his politics branch certain values or ideas. Obama suggests once he, he was out of office, he would uphold the tradition of ex-presidents stepping aside quietly to allow their successor's space to govern. He helped praise or govern President George W. Bush, saying he could not be more gracious to me when I came in, and said he wanted to give Trump the same chance to pursue his agenda, though Obama didn't specify what might trigger him to break silence. He, com he comments suggest he'd be most inclined to weigh in if Trump violated ba basic principles such as minority rights, equal protection, and res respect to civil life. Leaders of 21 Asian Pacific nations ended their annual summit Sunday with a call to resist protectionism amid signs of increased free trade skepticism highlighted by the victory of Donald Trump in the USA presidential election. The Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum also closed with a joint pledge to work toward a sweeping new free trade agreement that would include all 21 members as a path to sustainable, balanced, and inclusive growth. Despite the political climate, APEC noted the rising skepticism over trade and said that the benefits of trade and open markets need to be communicated to the wider public more efficiently, emphasizing how trade promotes innovation and employment and higher living standards. A San Antonio police officer riding out a tra traffic ticket to a motorist was shot to death in his squad car Sunday outside police headquarters by another driver who pulled up from behind authorities, said San Antonio police chef William McManus. Identified the, pol the officers as Detective Benjamin Marconi, a 20-year ve veteran of the force, McManus said he doesn't believe the man has any relationship to the original motorist who was pulled over and no motive has been identified. Police said the search for a maid suspect was still underway early Monday and that no arrest had been made. Tension flared anew across on the Dakota pipeline as protesters tried to push past a long blockaded bridge on a state highway, only to be turned back by a line of law enforcement using a water cannon on a night, the temperature dripped into the low 20s and appeared to be tear gas. Sunday's skirmishes began around 6 p.m. after protesters removed a burned out truck on what was known as the Black Backwater Bridge, not far from the encampment where they've been for weeks, demonstrating against the pipeline. A live stream early Monday showed a continued standoff with smoke wafting across the scene. Cyber Monday is starting earlier and earlier. Walmart Stores, Inc. said Monday that it's kicking off its so-called Cyber Monday deals at 12 a.m. EF, ET Friday for the first time ever as it aims to grab customers ahead of its competitions. Cyber Monday, which falls on the Monday after Thanksgiving, is typically the busiest day of the year for the online shopping. This year, Walmart is making Thanksgiving deals available online at 12.01 a.m. ET on its holidays. Three 
uh, three hours earlier than last year. Walmart is starting its deals at its stores at 6 p.m. on the Turkey Fee Fest, the same time as last year. The move comes as Walmart aims to compete more aggressively with online leader Amazon. Fantastic needs and where to find them got off to a roaring start with its $75 million domestic debut, while second and third position are something of a toss-up, with Marvel's Doctor Strange currently holding the edge with an estimated $17.67 million, million, just behind Fox's Trolls with an estimated $17.5 million. The vast majority of films fell be below expectations, whether including the weekend's two other new wide releases, The Edge of the 17th and Bleed for This, neither of which man managed to top $5 million, as well as Sony's expansion of Bill Lynn's Long Halftime Walk, which is nothing more than a flop at this point. The 2016 American Music Awards feature several pop stars strumming their guitars, Drake making a rare award show appearance, an emotional speech from Selena Gomez, and political moment about President-elect Donald Trump. Drake, who has, been, who has skipped his fair share of award show in recent years, was the big winner with the four years Bieber, who, was perform, who performed from his tour in Zurich, the Switzerland, who won four awards, Selena Gomez, who lost Artist of the Year to Ariana Grande, but won Favorite Female Artist, Pop Rock, gave a heartfelt speech outstage, on stage that earned loud applause from the audience. Green Day was on the many big named acts pr promoting new album at the AMAs, including Bruno Mars, The Weeknd, Lady Gaga, Sting, John Legend, and The Chainsmoker. But Green Day got politic during their performance of Bang Bang, as band leader Bully Joe Armstrong sang No KK, No Fascist USA, No Donald Trump during the show. The former hottest team in the league might be back in the minds of some people. The Minnesota Vikings outplayed the Arizona Cardinals 30-24 to with the help of two returns for touchdowns. In the second quarter, Xavier Rhodes intercepted and ran it back for a 100-yard touchdown. And then in the third quarter, Cordell Patterson ran, an af ran the after-halftime kickoff back 104 yards for a Vikings touchdown. Sam Bradford picked himself back up after four games of poor performance, throwing for a, man a major yet okay 169 yards and a touchdown, while Arizona QB Carson Palmer had 199 yards two scores, but also two interceptions. The Vikings will now have a short week of tap as they get ready to face the Lions in a traditional Thanksgiving football game. The Browns stay winless, letting the Steelers roll over them 24-9. Jack Presca Prescott continued his rookie season success, throwing for uh, 301 yards and three touchdowns to lead the Cowboys over the 20 Ravens 27-17. Lions drilled in the fourth quarter, scoring 10 unanswered, unanswered points to beat the Jaguars, Jaguars 26-19. Andrew Luck threw for 262 yards and, and two touchdowns as the Colts escaped from the Titans 24-17. The Bills come out on the positive end of the low-scoring game, brushing by the Bengals 16-12. Jamie's Winston passed for 30, 331 yards and a touchdown to lead the Buccaneers over the Chiefs 19-17. to Ali Manning put together a sold 227-yard 4-TD start sheet as the Giants beat the Bears 22-16. to The Dolphins defense rebuffed Jared Goff's debut as the Rams quarterback 14-10. to Tom Brady passed for 280 yards and four touchdowns to power the Patriots past the 48, 49ers, 49ers 32-17. The Seahawks got their talons in the Eagles with a 26-15 victory. And in the Sunday night featured game, Washington are easily defeated Green Bay 42-24 behind quarterback kick Kirk Cousins big 375 yards and three touchdowns. 
Carmelo Anthony scored 31 points to lead the Knicks 104 to 94 over the Hawks. The Blazer busted the net 129 to 109 with help from CJ McClonum's 33 points. Despite yet another Russell Westbrook triple double, the Pacers outmatched the Thunder 115 to 11 in overtime, winning their first road game. A last sa last Second shot was called off and no good to help the Kings sneak by the Raptor, Raptors 102-99. The Avalanche buried the Jazz 105-91. And the Bulls defeated the Lakers 118-110 with a big 40-point contribution from Jimmy Butcher. Alexander Winberg netted a last-minute goal to finish the Blue Jackets over the Capitals 3-2. The Canes blasted the Jets with 40 shots on goals to win 3-1. The Panthers topped the Rangers 3-2 in a shootout at Madison Square Garden. Michael Beckland scored the go-ahead go goals in the third to put the Flames up 3-2 over the Red Wings. Jeff Carter scored two goals in his 600th career point to lead the Kings over the Ducks 3-2. On the fence floor, number one, Duke took care of number 21, Rod Island, 75 to 65, second ranked Kentucky, trounced Duke, Duke Kane, 93 to 59, and number three, while in Nova downed Central Florida, 67 to 55. Despite the absolutely giant tackle while playing for UCF and scoring 20 points. On the women's court, top-ranked Notre Dame withstood 17th-ranked Washington 71-60. to Second-ranked Baylor vented their frustration of last week's UConn loss into annihilating Mississippi Valley State 101-36, to peaking of UConn coach Uranium and Huskies extended their win streak by yet another game, beating LSU 76-53. Top-ranked Alabama is still under undefeated after making easy work of Chattanooga 31-3. Number of Ohio State narrowly escaped Michigan State 17-16, while third-ranked Michigan doubled up on Indiana 20-10. Four-ranked Cle Clemson defeated Wake Forest 35-13. Number six Washington struggled off the last week's win to demolish. Arizona State 44 to 18. Seventh rank Wisconsin, Wisconsin bowled over Purdue 49 to 20. While conference foe Penn State at number eight blanked Rutgers 39 to zip. Rounding out the last two games, number nine Oklahoma handling beat number 14 West Virginia 56 to 28, and number two Colorado stamp. Washington State 38 to 24. It seems history will always have a fun a way to write itself as a Grand Canyon story as any. 2016 NASCAR Sprint Cup conventional wisdom favored any of the four drivers with a shot to, of the title. Other than Jimmy Johnson, Kyle Bushi was last year's champion and top favorite. Joey Logano was kept up with the pressure of the pace. Carl Edwards rushed forward to lead on 46, 47 laps, looking to ride home with the race and with the Sprint Cup with only 10 laps remaining. Until restart after a caution forced Edwards to wreck after aggressively blocking Logano. Johnson would then be the, able to take the green-white checkered flags for the win after the restart. After the race, Johnson gave veteran and retiring driver Tony Stewart, a helmet common commemorating the, the other two seven NASCAR champions, Richard Petty and Dale Earnhardt. I had this crazy calmness over myself after a long day leading into this, Johnson said. Even with us rushing, running with and the championship looking like it's not going to be there, I just felt something. That's all we have for you today. I'm Michelle. And I'm Miko. 
Join us again tomorrow for the Daily News. Bulldog TV is an affiliate of the USA Network TV News.